Here we go, guys. Update 624 notice. Actually, we've already talked about half the stuff in this update before in previous videos. So it's probably going to be a pretty short video. It's going to be a 45 minute long video. I'm so sorry. I know it's going to be. And as soon as I say short, it's 45 minutes long. Can we please make this a short video? Because there's like an hour and 40 minute video coming tomorrow. I'm not even joking. There's, it's not a summon video either. It's an hour and 40 minute video. Uh, so let's try to make this a quick one. Oh god. Uh, anyway, update 624. I'm not joking, guys. I'm not joking. Update 624 uh, has been updated. This is the crit rate. They're changing the crit rate stuff. They're finally uh, implementing it now. So, uh, after six and a half years, error to the crit rate being applied higher than normal value of the first hit of each skill has been resolved. We deeply apologize for this matter. Here's a million mana stones. So that should upgrade a third of a rune. Nice! It can upgrade a third of a rune. There's also rune power stones times of 500. That's actually quite a significant amount of rune power stones. Uh, they, rune power stones amplify the uh, likelihood of runes to power up. So actually that mana stone, uh, million mana stones, may actually power up one whole rune. Guys, very exciting. I, I know I'm being very sassy right now, but that's, it's, it's honest. That's actually honest. The uh, mon million mana will power up like half a rune. With the power up stones, it'll power up like a whole rune. Unless you're really lucky, then you can get away with like half a million, whatever. Uh, anyway. Rune power stones will uh, expire after May 31st. Uh, increase your chances. If you're new, you don't know what this is. If you're old, you... I mean, if you've been playing the game for a while, you know what this is already. It just amplifies the probability of you actually uh, upgrading your runes. So, a uh, little tip for you guys is don't use these throughout the entire course of upgrading. Only start using them after it's like plus 12. Because then you get a lot more value out of mana that it takes to upgrade the runes, right? So only start using these for uh, 12 to 15. I would recommend, I mean, if you want to just use them from like 14 to 15, that's that would be your, your best value out of it. But uh, yeah, I would, I would recommend just using these from 12 to 15 uh, powering up, right? Because they're gonna power up one, two, three, like regardless, very easily. So uh, anyway, rune and artifact removal event will be held after the uh, update until March 31st. Rune and artifact fruit removal. Ooh, I didn't see this one actually. So free rune removal for quite a while. Uh, yeah. A lot of people are gonna be very excited about that actually. Uh, I don't get too excited because I'm always doing five million things and I'm like, I'll just leave all the runes exactly how they are. Uh, and if I need to re uh, remove something, I'll just use mana because I got plenty on all the accounts, but except for LD that doesn't have any mana. Um, anyway, uh, this I am very, very excited about we'll see how fast this is this i don't even care about the power stones i don't care about the mana i don't care about the free rune removal i personally don't care about any of this stuff this power up speed has been approved that's all i care about that's all i care about that's all i care about if they made me spend twenty dollars for this i would spend twenty dollars instantly without even thinking about it that's <laughs> this is this is this is rough man this is rough for me as a content creator trying to upgrade so many stuffs on so many accounts and just waiting to do videos, just sitting there. I'm just, it's just an upgrade. Just, and it's an hour. So many times. It's like an hour to upgrade runes. Hopefully this is a significant improvement in speed, right? I don't, it's, not, it's, not, it's not even an issue of the mana that it takes, right? It's a lot of mana. But it's not, for me, it's, the, it's just, I don't want to sit there and have it like, me not do anything for an hour waiting for runes to upgrade so I could actually film the video, right? So anyway, uh, rune power up and granting effects have been improved. They're doing this psychological stuff, whatever, to get us more addicted to this. We can, we can never like win-win. We gotta like win and lose at the same time. So this is a win and lose at the same time. Whatever, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, essence breakdown function. This We've been wanting for six and a half years. They finally do it, right? This, every time there's an update, it's like, oh, finally! It's this. That's what they're all the updates from like the past six months are like. Wow, they finally did it. Although, on the to give them credit, they are actually doing some of the things that we're we're asking for, right? Like aerial buff and like 
Essence uh, Breakdown. So this is uh, Essence Breakdown now. Here we go. Essence Fusion, Essence Breakdown here, and here's the uh, here's the stuff to do it. Now, at first, you're like, ooh, one mid-essence is only three low-essence. One high-essence is only three mid-essence. That seems like that's not very valuable. However, they actually did change these as well. So now, 10 low-essence uh, being one mid-essence is now only five low-essences for one mid-essence. So that's actually also a better conversion as well. So you, this is not as valuable. Uh, versus what it was before, but now this is going to be much more valuable. Like, for example, if you need high essences and you want to use your mid essences, you always need more es mid essences, seriously. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing fusing highs because you always, you always seem to need more mids. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, this is, this is easier to fuse them uh, up and down now. So that's nice. Uh, then we have repeat battle. We can sell easier. It's kind of the same thing as like if you're running Dragons V12. Uh, now it's kind of just, you know how that's faster? You can just go... You can do the same thing now for uh, Raid. So, fairly straightforward. Uh, Secret Dungeon repeat battle! People have been asking for this for so long. I don't really run too many Secret Dungeons myself, but this does still help, right? This does still help. So... Boom. Finally, <laughs> repeat battle for secret dungeons. Power saving mode will be dismissed immediately when returning to the game after switching from the screen for power saving modes, moving the background or receiving a call. Uh, battle loading optimization, loading speed improved, and multi-battle frame has been stabilized. Hmm. We'll have to take a look at, uh, at that. That's interesting. Fusion hexagram quality of life improvements. Uh, you can check the monsters in the monster stores, some monsters here. I don't fuse a whole lot of monsters in general. Um, I have some that I have to fuse this week, but aside from that, you know, for people that like to fuse scallops, this is going to be, I'm sure, helpful, maybe. Uh, summon monsters, still try and monsters select. Oh, so this is now you can cancel. Before, when you were moving things uh, out of the sealed shrine, and you were like, oh, I accidentally clicked too many. I don't want to move all these monsters. How do I cancel this if you want to move things out of the sealed shrine? Now you can just keep tapping, and if you tap more than the max number of monsters, uh, it will uh, cancel it. So, monster sorting fu uh, function improvement. <laughs> the good old monster sorting function. Uh, craft building, a function to sort the monsters by monster level when crafting three star monsters has been added. It's just more quality of life stuff. Power up circle, material categories removed, level category added for the monster sorting. You can check not only the content tips, but also general game tips from the loading screen. Um, just extra helpful stuff. SWC introduction page. If, you know what, it's not a, it's not a, I'm going to complain about it. It's not really an issue to complain about. Uh, fixing the issue of the boss attack order settings changing when you're fighting as the boss in Tartar's Labyrinth. Tartar's Labyrinth while using the repeat battle dimension hole. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, monster bug fixes. So just bug fixes. I thought there was one more thing. Description modification. Not this. I thought there was something else. Wasn't there something else? One little tiny more thing. Uh, I guess not, because we literally went through all of it. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm just shaken that it's not a 45 minute video, right? Hey, it's not that long. It's not even 10 minutes. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Just wanted to briefly go over the 624. Don't worry. Hour and 40 minute video tomorrow again not joking i'm very sorry but anyway uh nice quality of life improvement stuff that's basically all this is nice quality of life improvement i really hope the rune power-up thing is going to be significantly faster i i i don't want to get my hopes up too much i really hope it's going to get not, that because that's the biggest thing for me right that's the biggest thing anyway uh that's it for this one hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you as always in the next one